I'm here at Myra, one of the UK's largest automotive testing facilities. And the reason I'm here is this. It's the new Mercedes B-Class. It's a family car and more aerodynamic than a bullet. And to show you the aerodynamics, I have a wind tunnel. I also have 60 mile per hour winds, UV light and fluorescent paint. But the best bit is, I get to be the artist. So where's those paints? What an experience that was. I had a lot of fun doing that. However, that's one custom paint job I don't think anyone would actually pay for. The interesting thing, however, is as much as there's a lot going off in front of the camera, there's a lot of work going off behind the camera and we want to show you exactly how we managed to do this. What we're trying to do with this film is show how the wind moves over the B-Class. Here at Myra, what they do is use smoke and also fluorescent paint to show how the wind moves over the bodywork of a car. We're taking it one step further. Our fluorescent paint is extremely strong and we're using UV light to show exactly the moment that paint hits the car and moves over the bodywork and over those key aerodynamic features that the car has. The new B-Class is the most aerodynamically efficient car in the world, and here are some of the reasons why. Air goes in through the front of the car and is channeled through the most advanced front wheel arch liners of any car on sale to reduce turbulence of the wheel and tyre as it's driving along the road. Another major aerodynamic boost is this. It's the first family hatchback in the world with a pagoda roof. It helps the air move over more cleanly, reducing turbulence at the back. Well, the car's cutting edge, so we've had to make the film really cutting edge and the cameras that we're using are currently being used in the James Bond film. We're shooting this on Ariflex Alexas. It's much more sensitive, it's much more delicate, it has a lot, a lot better colour range, and then as the car starts to build, the colours will be building the shape of the car. We need to be able to manipulate and control those colours. OK, UV on, please. In this, most of the risks are invisible. You can't see the ultraviolet light, for example. The other risk being the actual wind. We're, um, we're moving around inside this wind tunnel with a lot of wind going on and because of that we've got some riggers set up at the end and they've got everybody in harnesses on a rope system so the rope is taking a lot of the strain for them so they can move around, same as the person doing the spraying. So we've had to employ a specialist consultant to look at all these levels of light we're putting out to avoid burns, possible blindness as well, specialist safety glasses, many factors like that. We've got four of these big banks of flurry tubes here, which uh, um, we had to search the country for. We just couldn't find, nobody had any. People had an odd four or five here. We, you know, we, we wanted 16 of them. And, um, and that gives us a, a lot of light. It's, it's a really bright floodlight, which to the naked eye is completely black, nothing at all. The cameras can't see it. And then the second the fluorescent paint comes into that source, it'll be a floodlight, which is going to be quite exciting, really. So it's the latest generation technology to show off the latest generation car.